Coca-Cola is the most famous brand in the world. It's so famous that the second most famous word on the planet is Coca-Cola. Everybody knows about it. And when everybody knows about it, the question is, why is Coca-Cola still spending billions on ads? Market share? Coca-Cola owns almost half of the beverage market. After them is Pepsi. If Coca-Cola stops with ads, Pepsi will overtake them. But when you're at the top, why do you need to spend billions on ads? You just need to constantly outperform your competition. In technology industry, you can release a better phone each year. But in beverage industry, you can't release a better drink each year. So you need to put all your billions in marketing. Because billions of dollars spent on marketing, Coca-Cola had a big impact on the world. Here, I will prove it to you. Of these three illustrations, which one represents Santa Claus? This one? Well, you're wrong. All of these illustrations represent Santa Claus. But because of Coca-Cola's winter campaign, everybody picks this one. But why would they do that? There is a special reason why they spend so much money to make their version of Santa Claus, the original one. Coca-Cola is a refreshing summer drink. In 1920, they came up with the first winter campaign that contained the slogan, Thirst knows no season. It was successful, but they saw a way to improve. They decided to pay an artist to illustrate this gentleman. They continued with that marketing campaign for decades. Coca-Cola hired the same artist every year to make illustrations in the same art style, adding trucks and polar bears to the campaign. Another marketing campaign that they spent billions on, but for a reason, is the Olympic Games. In 1976, they started to sponsor another big sports event, FIFA World Cup. During the World Cup period, Coca-Cola's sales go up by 5%, which is $600 million. That's good, because they only spent $100 million to sponsor the event. Okay, this is all great. Santa Claus, Olympic Games, World Cup. It brings tons of money to Coca-Cola, but there are better ways to sell an unhealthy drink than cold weather and sports events. Actually, there aren't. Some brands market themselves like a lifestyle, for example, Nike and Apple. Coca-Cola markets itself like an emotion and a story. When you see Coca-Cola ads, they are full of emotional moments that most of us have experienced or will experience. Brotherly love, romantic love, family, first kiss. Coca-Cola wants you to associate the drink with happy moments in your life. So that means whenever you are happy, Coca-Cola wants to be the first thing that pops in your head country scores a goal in the World Cup, Coca-Cola is there. Usain Bolt sets a world record, Coca-Cola is there. You're sitting on the sofa on Christmas Eve, talking with your family and watching TV, Coca-Cola is there. Those campaigns are mega successful. And after Nike, Coca-Cola is the brand people most associate with Olympic Games. And I have never been to a family gathering on Christmas where a Coca-Cola bottle wasn't on the table. This has the power to bring memories and emotions from the previous time you consumed the drink. So if you are on a date with your crush and you're drinking Coca-Cola and having a nice time, you will remember that emotion. Basically, drinking Coca-Cola while having a happy emotion will make your brain easier to remember that emotion. And when you go on the second date with your crush, the emotion will be ready to be triggered again. They managed to achieve that with their marketing rule that they still use today. It is called 70-20-10. Basically, that's how Coca-Cola spends its billions of dollars marketing budget. So 70% of the budget goes to save low risk that pays the bills. In this category are Olympics, FIFA World Cup, holiday ads, also TV commercials and social media ads. Something Coca-Cola knows works because they've been doing that for a long time. 20% of the marketing budget is dedicated to new marketing strategies. Something other brands are doing, but Coca-Cola isn't doing. TikTok ads would be a great example of that. TikTok is new. Coca-Cola isn't really familiar with it, so they need to go easy on that. The last 10% is spent on high-risk, high-reward strategies. Something that nobody is doing and something that has never been done before. A great example of this is Share a Coke campaign. In 2011, in Australia, they came up with the idea to launch Coke bottles with people's names on it. For testing, they used 150 most popular names in Australia. That marketing strategy reached out 42% of the whole population of Australia. Coca-Cola went to sell 250 million bottles in Australia, and at that time, the country had a population of 23 million. That test was more than successful. Coca-Cola went to launch the campaign in more than 70 countries. They used over 17,000 names, adding even titles and nicknames like 
mom, dad, mate, bro, and so on. This was genius. A name is the most personal thing anyone possesses. Coca-Cola drink is owned by the Coca-Cola company. And the Coca-Cola company owns brands like Fanta, Sprite, and 500 more of them. But after COVID, they slashed to 200 brands. So what does the future look like for Coca-Cola? Will they still spend billions on ads or maybe a little less? COVID gave them a huge hit, but they are recovering. Profits in Q1 of 2023 were $624 million. Last year at that time, they were $507 million. The Coca-Cola company owns three of the most sold drinks on the world. But they started to invest in other beverage industries. They bought UK's Coffee Costa entering the coffee market. They also bought Body Armor, a sports drink company. They have Topo Kiko, a hard seltzer, entering the alcohol market. Coca-Cola has intelligent and data-driven marketing campaigns, and they have entered a few new beverage markets. So we will see a lot of innovative marketing from the Coca-Cola company in upcoming years. And they will probably make their market ownership bigger and will probably spend a few more extra billions on their ads. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Thank you, see you.